What's going on everybody? Juke and my Juke here. We got a special video coming up for you guys today. In today's video, we are doing something that is obviously uh, very different. This video today, unlike all my other videos, has nothing, and I mean nothing, to do with fitness. I've been wanting to do a video like this for a while now, but considering this is mainly like a fitness channel, I didn't really want to incorporate like football and stuff, but it's like, you know what? I might as well just go for it. Why not? I am a huge NFL fan, and like I said, this is not a football channel, but I figured, why not give this a shot? So today's video is called Dave Davis Mills versus the world. This is a video concept that I've got from one of my favorite football YouTubers, Wyatt's World. I'll leave the link to his channel down below. He does this. He's actually been doing it for a while, and I've always figured I want to try this on YouTube, and I never really went for it. So basically what we're doing is we're taking a player and comparing him to the rest of the league at that position. This should be a ton of fun, so let's dive into Davis Mills versus the... Wait, hold up. I almost forgot something. I'll be right back. I mean, come on, I gotta rock the jersey. This is 100% authentic too. Definitely not an old DeAndre Hopkins jersey that I just wrote Mills on, but yeah, this is like totally real, totally authentic. Wait, did my eye fall off? <laughs> Part of the L is missing. What the heck, NFL shop? You're like gonna sue you over this. All right, guys, I got my laptop pulled out right here, and this is how we're gonna do. I can't believe I'm actually making this video. But right here, we got the classic tier list. I mean, it's pretty self explanatory. We got three rows here. The first is better than Davis Mills, the QBs who I think are better than him. Then we got Davis Mills, obviously, in the middle and then the QBs who are worse than Davis Mills. Now why Davis Mills exactly? Well ever since his rookie year which is basically last year I've always thought he's one of the more underrated QBs considering what he has to work with and just the eye test in my opinion. Now before we can get into the comparison game we gotta see who exactly we are talking about. So through nine games Davis Mills has thrown for 1600 yards, 10 touchdowns, 8 interceptions, and a QBR of 32.8. But what I always like to say is that the stats don't always tell the full story. Davis Mills plays for the worst team in football. He has one good receiver. And like I said, man, it's just like he does not have a ton to work with. The thing that made me like him last year weren't the stats. It was watching him play the eye test. He passes the eye test for me big time. Granted, he is not perfect. He is still young. He makes a ton of mistakes. But I think the potential is just there, in my opinion. Okay, so let's get this started. This is kind of like an old list. So before we get started, I moved all the rookies and guys who aren't on teams anymore into the worst category so it's just like we're not skipping over random people okay starting off with russell wilson this year he he's been atrocious considering the expectations the broncos had he has not been good at all this season he's thrown six touchdowns to four interceptions with much and i mean much better weapons than mills so i'm call me crazy actually it's not that crazy anymore davis mills at this point in time is a better qb than russell wilson mac jones is next and he was he was really good as a rookie he was solid but he's regressed with a better coach. Uh, weapons probably better than Texans, but he, he's just he's just regressed. I'm gonna take Mills over Mac Jones. For me at least, Mac Jones never really passed like the eye test so that he can like kinda like I'm not saying Mills can carry a team at least yet, but it's like Mac, I think his ceiling's a lot lower. Ryan Tannehill, yeah, he's better than Mills. He's not what he once was uh, the first two seasons in Tennessee, but he's still very solid. It's like, in my opinion, you could do a lot worse than Ryan Tannehill. I know a lot of people hate him, but you could do a lot worse. Next up, Baker Mayfield. Yeah, no, no, he is hard. Horrible, no offense, man. I was a huge fan of him after his rookie year, but it's like... He's just, he's just not good, man. He just isn't. Next up, Aaron Rodgers. Although the Packers are horrible and Rodgers is not having a great season, even by his standards, he just, like by any standards, he hasn't been great. I'll still take him over Davis Mills. He's still easily like one of the best QBs ever. So like you can't, you can't take Mills over Rodgers. Next up, Jared Goff. Yeah, I think Goff is better than Mills. Like I think Goff is easily one of the most hated on QBs in the league. One of the most underrated QBs. I think people forget how good he could actually be. I think a lot of people forget about early LA Rams, Jared Goff. I'm not even joking. One of the best football games I've ever watched with my own eyes was, I think it was 2018 uh, Rams versus Vikings Thursday Night Football. Jared Goff, I've never seen just in the pocket with time a never, like never a more accurate QB in my life. Next up, Captain Kirk. Kirk Cousins, yeah, he's definitely better than Davis Mills. He's uh, just yet again, like Goff, another one of the more underrated QBs in the league. Consistently puts up great stats and yet again is overly hated on. Like I said, with Ryan Tannehill, you could do a lot worse than Kirk Cousins. Next up, the most handsome, I mean, uh, uh, Jimmy Garoppolo. Yeah, uh, yeah, he's definitely better than Davis Mills, in my opinion. He's the most underrated QB in the league. All he does is win and put up solid stats. It's like, yeah, he's not the best, but still, he gets the job done, man. Moving on, Matt Stafford. Man, I looked at his stats. Eight touchdowns to eight interceptions, man, with Cooper Cup, Allen Robinson, uh, who else? Van Jefferson. I mean, he just came back, but still, I mean, 
I'm sorry. This year, he's worse than he's worse than Mills. I'm sorry. To me, there's just no excuse to add, like, a year after winning the Super Bowl, you got a guy on the worst team in the league throwing more touchdowns than you when you have arguably the best receiver in the league. Nah, I'm sorry. Next up to, uh, yeah, he's better than Mills. He's proven a lot of people wrong this year. I mean, he's got a ton of weapons, but still, man, he's, he's always just won, and this year, he's proven why he was, like, so highly touted after. Next up, in my opinion, one of the most overrated QBs in the league, but this could just be the, the Giants fan talking. Uh, Dak Prescott, yeah, he's better than Mills. He, he's not bad, but it's like, I, he's just overrated. People talk about him like he's an elite QB, and I don't think he is. Moving on, we got Kenny Pickett. I included him as a rookie because he's played a lot this year, and uh, no, he's definitely not better than Mills. He's thrown what, like, eight or nine picks? And like, I, I don't know. He's just, he, he's got weapons too, man. He's got Deontay uh, Pickens. Claypool was there. But yeah, man, I get it. He's a rookie and all, but I got to take Mills over him pretty easily, honestly. Next up, we got Teddy Two Gloves. He's kind of played this year. He's obviously played before in the past, and uh, he's not better than Mills. We know what his ceiling is. We know he's just basically a spot starter. I think Mills can develop in a like 10 times Teddy Bridgewater. Next up, Jalen Hurts. No, definitely not. He is just, he's on an MVP case right now. He is just dominating and yeah, he is a lot better than Davis Mills. Trey Lance, uh, he shouldn't be here in my opinion. I'm sorry. I should have put him uh, with all the other guys because he played like a game and a half this year. Moving on, Justin Herbert. Yeah, pretty easily. Justin Herbert is a freak of nature. He's easily one of the best QBs in the league, man. And it's just, it's no explanation. Ooh, this is a good one. Trevor Lawrence. I, I don't know. There, I mean, like, I gotta look at the stats because Trevor definitely has much better weapons. He's got one more touchdown and two less interceptions. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll rock with Trevor. But it's a lot closer than people think. Another guy who was drafted with Justin Fields, who's been on a tear the last two games, man. But th those two games, you can't just forget about the rest of the season, man. Fields, I'm sorry. He's not better than Davis Mills. Okay, moving on. Josh Allen. And uh, yeah, no explanation needed. Kyler Murray. Yeah, I think Kyler is better than Mills, but he's still, I, th I still think he's underwhelming. I think he's an underachiever in my opinion. Next up is Sam. Yeah, no, Sam Donald. Just now. After Donald, we got Matt Ryan. Yeah, no, Matt Ryan is done. He's cooked. He, he's, he's done. It's over. Next up is Joe Burrow. And yeah, it's not very close. I mean, like, it's Joe Burrow. Next up, we got Lamar Jackson. Yeah, again, another one that's not very close. Lamar Jackson is just unbelievable. Oh, here we go. Deshaun Watson. Uh... <laughs> He hasn't played in what, like two years, but still just ta not, not, not moral wise, talent wise. Yeah, Deshaun Watson's better than Mills. I love this one. Taylor Heineke. Ah, oh. dude, that guy, that guy's a, that guy's a dog. I, I think he's better than Mills. I'm dead serious. Oh man. The one I was dreading uh, as a Giants fan, Daniel Jones. Oh man. He's gotten a lot better, man. Dable's uh, uh, playing him to his strengths, but I'm sorry, no, he's just extremely limited. I never really got like that it factor from Daniel Jones, ever. I'm sorry, just like speaking from a Giants fan's perspective, like the past four years, just watching him, it's just like, I there, there was nothing that ever like stood out to me that said, okay, this guy has some potential. I just think he's at best a spot starter. Okay, Patrick Mahomes, uh, yeah, we know the answer to that. Okay, Tom Brady has not been Tom Brady this year, but regardless, it's still Tom Brady, so you gotta put him over Mills. I mean, come on. Dude, Jacoby Brissett is solid, man, but the thing is, like, I know what I'm getting. He's he's, he's just not, like, I, I feel Mills, although obviously not, he's, like, he's not like a bleh, he's not a franchise guy now. We know Brissett will never be a franchise guy, so I'm just gonna say he's worse, but it's a lot closer than people think. He's not bad. And listen, man, Mills is not, like, some, like, random NFL QB. A lot of people don't know this, but he was very highly touted come out of high school. When I say very, I mean, he was the number one QB in his class. So obviously there was potential from day one. So it's just like, I, I, I just am like obsessed in a way. Okay, next up, Drew Locke is definitely worse than Davis Mills, but he's another guy kind of like Justin Fields. I don't think it's like, I don't think you should give up on them just yet. I still think they have some potential. All right, Andy Dalton is worse than Davis Mills, but still he's, he's average. He's not, he's not awful, but like, He's not what he once was in Cincy when he was a very good QB. He's just like a spot starter, like I've been saying the entire video, I feel. Okay, going into the season, there would be no shot I would put uh, Davis Mills uh, behind Geno Smith. But dude, he's like, he's unbelievable this year. Geno Smith is definitely behind the Davis Mills. Okay, Marcus Mariota, the definition of a spot starter. Yeah, he is. He's had a decent season, but yeah, we know what he is. And Davis Mills, I just, he, he's better and he has more potential. Okay, Mitch Trubisky. Nah, I'm sorry. I had somewhat high hopes for him going into the season. I thought he'd learn behind Josh Allen. He had some solid receivers, but 
Nah, he's just okay at best. Okay, Derek Carr, he, he's not been great this year, I'll be honest. He has not been very good, but still, I'm gonna take him over Davis Mills because, like Kirk Cousins, they're literally the exact same person. Okay, Zach Wilson, yeah, he is definitely not better than Davis Mills. He is not good. He's honestly been a bust. Okay, Mr. 30 for 30, Jameis Winston, nah, he is not better than Mills. I'm sorry. I thought he would be somewhat decent coming into the season, but no, he's just bad. And last but not least, Carson Wentz. Ooh, this one is tough. Like, I don't know what to do. It's like, we know we know what Carson Wentz is. He puts up great stats, but at the end of the day, he chokes in big moments, and it's like, he just beats on bad teams, and he doesn't really ever beat good teams, so I'm sorry, man. I'm gonna take Mills over Wentz. And there we have it, people. The entire list is set. Now, according to my calculations, Davis Mills is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21st best QB in the NFL. Now, although I do have him ranked 21 in terms of all the QBs on the planet, you look at the guys above him, look at the guys below him, you can't tell me that they're, are, they're in a better, no, they're in a worse position than Davis Mills. Ever since he got drafted, he's been set up to fail, and I think he's been solid for what he's got. He hasn't been great, I'm not saying that. He definitely has a lot of things he has to work on. He turns the ball over too much. He makes too many bad decisions, but if you look, if you watch him play, he makes a few throws where your jaw drops. I don't know why I did that. So I'm just gonna be honest, if you're the 21st best QB in the league with the 32nd worst team, like overall with offense, defense, coaching, all that stuff, you're doing pretty solid. And that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. If you guys made it this far, thank you as always. It's greatly appreciated. Like I said, I know this is all dedicated to fitness this channel, but I just wanna try something that I wanna do. And if you guys like it, let me know down below if you wanna see more stuff like that. This was honestly a ton of fun to make and I can't wait to see how this comes out. But other than that, guys, if you liked the video, hit that like button, subscribe to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.